Hello, hello, hello. I'll give it a few minutes. I don't know if anyone's going to show up. I did this kind of last minute. Didn't really give a lot of notice about going live. Only kind of gave a five minute warning. So I'll give it a few minutes and see if anyone pops in. Hello, hello. It looks like some people joined. Hello, hello. Say hello in the chat if you're there. Hey, there he is. He's first to arrive. It's kind of funny. Whenever I do one of these, like literally every week for like the first 30 seconds, I still feel like no one's ever going to show up and I'm just going to sit here for, you know, a minute or two and then turn it off and be sad. So hello and welcome to everyone who comes every week and thank you. I appreciate you. We got train fans. We got A Rod Rose <laughs> and Cody Wilson. Thank you all for for showing up. Very fun. So probably going to be a short one this week. I looked around, guys. I'm sorry. I don't really have anything to do for this week. I didn't know what to do. Uh, I was watching TV with my wife, and and she just fell asleep. And I was like, oh yeah, I got a live stream tonight. So I was trying to come up with something to do, and I apologize. I don't really have anything good. So this is what I found. I have this one random Lego minifigure pack that I bought the other day. And I have this uh, pretty sweet 1989 Batmobile that I found at Ollie's for cheap. So I figured we could at least we could at least w open these and just chat. It'll probably be a little bit of a shorter one tonight. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Cody. Is RRR still going? RRR 2.0. Oh, yeah, they started like 10 on Fridays, right? I think that's right. Well, Eastern time. Shinkalion this week, believe you saw the Super Evolutionary Electro Cargo. That's the uh, the thing from Collector Shuki. Holy shit. Um, train fans, that's the uh, the little motorized thing with the green like weapon cargo thing, right? Is that what you were talking about? That came out like so long ago. It's funny that it's just now getting worked into the series. Also, I got charged and I have my Shinka gear now. My my black Shinka gear. So that will arrive someday. What's up, Shuk? Thanks for stopping by, buddy. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to open up this Lego minifigure bag. I don't know. I was thinking about... I have a lot of Soto figures to put together. And I was thinking I could do that. But I feel like it would be really boring to just watch me put stickers on things. So... I, I abandoned that idea. Yes, it's the cactus. Cactus woman. <laughs> this uh, minifigure body is absolutely fantastic. She's got crazy cactus arms. That's pretty fantastic. Which side is which? It doesn't matter. Oh, wait, actually... Okay, so now hold on. We got a crinkle here. And then we got... I'm going to say that's the back. It doesn't really matter because you're going to put this awesome thing on top. Little Black Shinkalion Cross Gatai. Does that mean that the uh, they're done with the Black Shinkalion? Is he, was he defeated? So if we check out the book. Oh, okay, got your train fans. Don't spoil, I gotta say spoilers. Who would have ever predicted that the Shinkalion drivers would eventually win? Jeez. Uh, anyway. So I have, I think I, I need the elephant, axe and racks of them at Target. And now just all of a sudden they're just gone. It is true, Cody. Chinkalion is his waifu. That is 100% correct. Alright, so... Hello, Austin Johnson. What's up? So it's kind of funny. I was at um, Walmart the other day, and they had this line of Batman Hot Wheels. And I think they're like... 
a dollar a piece or something. And they had, this is my all time favorite Batmobile. This one from the Michael Keaton, 1989 Batman, my all time favorite. So they had a version of this, but instead of black, it was like a weird lightish gray color and it had red tinted windows, which didn't make any sense. And I just, I didn't understand it at all. And I was like, this is, I love this Batmobile, but this is trash. Like, why does it look so weird? And then I found this at Ollie's for four bucks and it's a little bit bigger and it's actually accurate and it actually opens. You can see it slides open there. So I decided to grab this and these normally go for like eight or $10. I'm like, since when do they start making $10 Hot Wheels cars? This is crazy. But apparently they're like super detailed and look nice. For four bucks, I figured out hey, what the heck. Um, but yeah, so hi, Austin. Thank you. I'm pretty good. How are you doing? I'm going to go ahead and open this up. We can take a look at this sweet Batmobile. I feel like it's only a matter of time since until Mattel combined DC Comics and Hot Wheels cars because they have both licenses. Or I should say they have, they own Hot Wheels. They have the DC license for various things. Oh, Siri is going to change sides, but he hates them the most. Doesn't make any sense. That's crazy talk. Also, I started to try to really make a push to watch Drivehead. I'm on like episode 25 or something. And I keep waiting for something to happen. And every week they're like, it's a natural disaster. Oh no, we must respond. And I'm like, yeah, okay. What about next week? And they're like, well, we're getting a new robot. But a building's on fire and we're going to go save it. I'm like, yeah, okay. Like, they really need to introduce an antagonist. I know they have that professor or whatever who sometimes gets up to shenanigans. But for the most part, I'm like, we need an evil robot. Just give us a damn evil robot. Come on, Drivehead. Oh, me is it Meekard? Meckard? How do you pronounce it? Is that the thing where you throw the car at the car and then it like flips and transforms? Is that what you're talking about? All right, so this is pretty badass. Now, does this slide closed? Oh, what's it's got some Meckard? Okay, yes, it slides closed. Come on. How is this not everyone's favorite Batmobile? This is amazing. Love the design of this thing. So it's pretty sweet. So this slides open. Just like in the movie. And if you have a super tiny Batman, you can fit inside. Of oh, Drivehead train fans? Like, what would you say? Like, last ten? Last five? What am I looking for here? I really, really like this. rolls really well you just said yeah i asked you a <laughs> i asked you a question that is not a yes or no question five ten what am i looking at here there are evil drive heads oh good finally finally i guess i just figured after you know with drive heads everyone's always in a good mood yeah no maybe all right we'll let it go so yeah, like I said, I'm sorry. I do not have anything else to show you guys. I am really terrible. Hey, what's up, KR Magnum? Welcome, welcome. I can show you this. I got this there. I'm not going to open it right now. But I found this sweet Marvel Legends Wolverine. He comes with these cables for Apocalypse's arms, which is a pretty weak build-a-figure accessory in my opinion <laughs> i want to watch it because on the surface it's bakugan knockoff but i have a habit of starting something and not finishing it 20 shows to watch yeah i got really sucked into that too cody where i would do that so i kind of made a list and i just like picked one and finished that one and then you know went to the next one on the list and and picked that and finished that so i made a little bit of progress i finished um I was watching the 2011 Thundercats because I'd never seen that before, so I finished that. And what else was I watching? Something else. So I'm trying to now finish Drivehead and the Japanese Spider-Man 
And then once I'm done with those, I'm probably going to watch Go Onger. And I'm thinking about also watching Decayed, just in case Geo has some kind of Decayed tie-in. I should probably have seen that. So basically I have until September to watch Decayed. So that's kind of my plan. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I definitely want to watch Go On Dry. I also kind of want to watch Magi Ranger. So that's going to go on the list eventually. So yeah, this is uh this is the Build a Figure Apocalypse. He looks pretty good, I have to say, but I just don't really care like I have Psylocke and I have Wolverine. I saw Magneto. I just don't really like the black and red costume for him. If it was his like 90s red and purple costume, 100% I'd be there. Um, I really don't care about gladiators, so I'm not going to buy him. I do really want Sabretooth, and I don't like Storm Mohawk, so, and Multiple Man I don't really care about. So, I mean, I'm going to buy like three out of seven, so I'm not going to bother with the mini fit or with the build a figure. So, I'm going to end up with a leg, an arm, and some cables. That's about it. See, they put the body with Mohawk Storm because they know nobody cares about her. <laughs> I don't think they're going to combine. I think it's going to be, like, I, I mean, it might just be a completely, like, just similar show and really have nothing to do with it. And it might just be similar in kind of gimmick. I don't know if it'll, I don't, when I look at him, I just see Decade's color scheme. And I see, from what I've been seeing, obviously it's going to reference all the past riders, which Decade also did, so... I'm wondering if there'll be some kind of tie-in in, in some manner. Common Rider Craft? What is that? Oh, okay. I see. That's the like Minecraft thing, right? You built Genius Form. That's cool. I can't reach over now. I just did the uh, video for the build form no, no the genius form of build for the bcr which is pretty good it has gasp neck and waist articulation <laughs> a first for the bottle change rider series mm. yeah Sorry, I keep looking around for things to show you guys or entertain you with, but you'll have to settle for just chatting with me. Magnum Xerox. He uses reinforced Magnum full bottle, the build driver, and the Magnum reboot to become Magnum Xerox. Does he make copies of stuff? Is that why he's Xerox? No, I did not get my 800 yet. <laughs> It's on a boat or something. I don't know. I sent it sal shipping, so it'll be a bit. I really wouldn't mind Decade a second rider to represent pre Nero pre Neo Heisei. Uh that could be cool actually if Decade came back but got different powers and he had he was the second rider. What I would really like to see from the stuff that I saw, and I don't know if it's going to be um, like obviously it's not 100% confirmed or anything but the storyline was like him traveling to the different worlds and meeting the other riders I guess to learn from them and get stronger so if they did something like that and they could actually bring back actors from all the old shows like Heisei Generations Final or something that would be really awesome I would love to see something like that oh did it freeze? Can you see me again? Whoop. Brr, brr. No. Yeah, I agree, train fans. I don't like it when they just look like the same form. I think it's cool that it's... Obviously, you see the influence, but it's a new form. Agreed, 100%. All right, so that's my Wolverine. Uh, do-do-do-do. It's just a... 
dead stream of a cat. <laughs> this is the most eclectic. It's a Batmobile and a cactus minifigure. Do, 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 do. Magnum uses the Xerox trigger along with what I already said. He's Here's the problem. The Xerox is a brand name, so you're going to have to pay licensing fees for this. You have to look out for these things. Xerox is going to try and sue you. Uh, they are in the pipeline, train fans. I'm hoping to do at least one of them this weekend. I wanted to get through all the Ultraman stuff first, which I have done now. So all the Ultraman videos are now done. And what else do I have? I have a ton of stuff I have to build, and that's why it keeps, it keeps piling up. I have like two or three at this point, I think, Soto sets. I have the two uh, Live Man mini plaws. So it's like I have to sit down and build all that stuff. Plus I have the Memorial Gash Hat 2 set. And that's going to just... I feel like that video is going to take a long time because the first one took a long time because there's so many sounds and everything. So all that stuff is like... I have it to be reviewed, but I know it's going to take a while, so I keep putting it off and it's kind of a bummer. Um, so I have to get to that stuff. And then I also have... The Black Shinkalion, the H5, and that new drive head set I just got. So the, those three, the drive head and the Shinkalion stuff, will probably get done relatively soon. But I'm going to try and start doing some of that like model kit stuff as well. I also have like five sets or six sets of Mugenbein, Mugen Saga candy toys. And they're also, they take a long time. So, I don't know. Someday when I have more time, that stuff will all eventually get done. Yes, they are going crazy for Mega Ranger. I love it. Uh, we're getting Mega Ranger Mini Plot. We're getting Mega Ranger Super Sentai Artists and Changers. It's pretty amazing. Yeah, I'm really excited for the Galaxy Delta Mega because I never had those Megazords when I was a kid. I never had the Astro or Delta Megazord. Um couple years ago i got the mega voyager and the mega winger at a yard sale so that's cool but i still don't have the astro megazord or the delta megazord so instead of hunting those down i'll just get these mini plot so they look fun yeah i was thinking about that cody it's just i feel like putting the stickers on is so boring wouldn't it be boring if you guys just watch me put stickers on stuff Plus, I'm like, when I put the stickers on, I'm like super meticulous and I just like, you know, like push them down and go over them a hundred times because I'm like OCD and I have to like, you know, like go over to make sure they stick. And I know before everyone says that I should buy that model, whoops, model kit glue or whatever to, to keep them, seal them on there. But I don't know. I'm just too lazy to do that. I'm, I don't want to have like a jar of glue and a paintbrush that I have to keep around for whenever I feel like doing soda things. What Evangelist did, like a model kit stream. Oh, that's cool, Cody. Yeah, I did. Um, I was at Barnes and Noble the other day, and I found the the Dragon Caesar mini plot, and I thought about getting it, but it was like forty five bucks, and I was like, eh, what if I buy it and I never find the Daijujin? Like, if I found them together, I would probably buy Daijujin and Dragon Caesar. Because then they can connect together in various ways. But if it's like to just have Dragon Caesar, it's like, meh. Oh, he did? How long does it take him? Does this build stream like take a long time? What is, does he like just chat while he does it? Does he do something else? Like, is it entertaining to watch him build models? Does it get boring? Like, I don't know. Like, if I tuned in and you're literally just watching me like put stickers on things, I feel like you guys would get bored. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe you wouldn't. Let me know, what are your thoughts on this? Instead, I'm making Common Rider Magnum Split. Magnum uses the split gearbox to split in two and become... Oh, okay, like, uh, like Mighty Brothers. <laughs> That's funny. You scrapped Magnum Xerox? That was fast. Oh, also, I just found... I forgot I had these.
I'm not going to open them right now. Magnum Xerox gone but not forgotten. It's true. Never forget. Hashtag Magnum Xerox. I've had these for a bit. I bought these so long ago. So, these two actually go together, and these two actually go together, and then these are just like add-on kits for figures I don't have. <laughs> so, the Burger Dude, I don't have an X-Aid, but I'm guessing it could work with other um, X-Aid figures. It's literally just, I think this is just like the things you clip on the arms, basically. And otherwise you can make the little Burger Man, which is pretty, I should just make the Burger Man. Um, and then this one, now this one I do, <laughs> he's a good boy. <laughs> That's right, I forgot about that. Burger Man, he's a good boy. So this one I actually do have this version of laser and I I think right now I have the uh, what's the other one this is the bike but there's another one that's the black and gray um, what's the one that Tyga uses um, jet fighter combat fighter is that what it's called there's a black and gray version of that because, you know, towards the end of the show, Laser uses both of the... Jet Combat, yes, thank you. So I already I already did that one. So this is the bike, so Laser can use both of those. And then these two, I think these were just in the lot of the other ones that I bought. This is like all the pieces for... Um, wow, I'm going to have to... I haven't seen X8 in so long now, it's driving me crazy. Dragon Fighter, Hunt, Dragon Hunter Z, that's what it is, Jesus. Oh, I can't remember anything. So anyway, again, I don't have, I don't have the bike version of Laser. I know you could buy the bike version of Laser, and then you could use it with these, but I don't have that, and I don't have, I don't have any of the early ones, basically. <laughs> All the first waves that were like X-Aid, Brave, uh... Snipe. I don't have any of those. So I have these. That's why I've never built these. Because they don't have anything to put them on. So it's kind of pointless. I guess I could just make the little dragon form. And then just sit that somewhere. Kind of the same with this one. I guess make a bike. And then just sit it somewhere. <laughs> so that's why I never built those. Kind of the same with Bergamon. But I guess someday I could do these. Because you could actually build this guy. I don't know, how's this guy looking for stickers? I just, I hate the stickers. That's really, like, I love the figures when they're done. I love them when they're done. I hate putting the stickers on. I would pay more if these just all came painted. And all I had to do was just assemble them. No problem. I'd do them all as soon as I got them. I, and I would pay more. I would pay more to have them painted instead of stickers. I wish there was, like, an option. I wish there was, like, you can buy the sticker version for half price or for, like, one and a half times you can buy the painted versions. And I would buy the painted versions every time. Then I'll, I'll I mean, because I don't mind putting them together. I really don't. I do not mind putting them together. I just I hate the stickers. And then, like, build, they give you a hazard form and they give you black stickers to put on black plastic. Come on, guys. <laughs> you can't see black stickers on top of black plastic the heck are you doing? Sorry, I'm missing comments. Wasn't it the dude who sang the Jetman theme? I don't know, maybe. How much are they now? Um, I think when I buy them from HLJ, they come in sets. It's really nice. They used to sell them in a box, and a box was like 
you know, what a retailer would buy and put out at like 7-Eleven in Japan. So a box would have like 12. So say there's like six, seven in a set, there would obviously be five duplicates because they're selling them all to random people. So what they started doing, which is nice, is instead of you buying a box and having duplicates you have to get rid of, they sell you a set. So you just get one of everything. And a set of six at HLJ is usually somewhere in the area of $25, which I really don't think is bad. It's like $4 a piece, $4 a box. And I, I don't think that's bad at all. So, And like I said, I love the figures when they're done. I really do. I'm just never motivated to put the stickers on. So that's that. But like I heard the uh, the Live Man Megazords are not ridiculously sticker heavy. Plus at least they're like bigger areas, like it's larger stickers on flat areas so it's a little bit easier to apply. The problem with these is when it's a really weird texture, um, they don't stick that great. Because it's like weird curves and things, and so it is. That's cool, Kit. That's cool, Magnum. I like that. <laughs> the worst I've had with stickers are Shinka Gears and original Shinkali on E3s. The, uh, see, the stickers for the Shinka Gear I didn't think was that bad. Um, because... They, again, they're like large, flat surfaces. So, all right, you want me to build one now? I'll build one. Let's do... I'll do the ninja. What's up, Darren Smith? Oh, that's awesome, dude. I love, I love this Batmobile. This is my all-time favorite Batmobile. Um, I actually... I would have been about 6'2". I didn't see it in the theaters... I don't think. I'm pretty sure I just saw it on video, like rented it from the library or something. Don't forget to eat the candy. <laughs> I can eat the candy. Do you know how old this candy must be? It doesn't really matter because it's sweet tarts, and sweet tarts don't really ever go bad. All right, so which one? I guess I should open this one first, right? Where the heck is the... Isn't there like a perforated area? Water sliders. Alright, let's see. Let's see. We'll see how long it takes to build one. We're at about half an hour right now, so... Here you go. <laughs> it's always the same clover. Sweet tart thing. All right, let's see what we got here. Do, 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 do. All right. Water slide decals, what's that? I don't even know what that is. All right, so here's our instructions. Tampographs. Well, there's really nothing to build. <laughs> you fail unless you eat it. You want me to get sick, don't you? Alright, fine. You want me to eat this sweet tart and get sick? This is how much I like you guys. I hope you know this. There you go. I'm eating it. Can you hear me? Yum. No, it's honestly... Like I said, they're sweet tarts. They don't... They don't really go bad. Sometimes, I, I've eaten older ones before, and sometimes I notice they just, like, lose their flavor. I'm just chewing it. Yeah, tastes like sweetheart. I don't know what's, I guess, I don't know what that is. I'm not hip on all the internet lingo. It does kind of taste like chalk, you're not wrong. 
All right, so here's our sticker sheet. A, now hold on, there's letters and numbers. This is too confusing. There's an A and a B now. All right, so here's our sweet little shinobi dude. Oh my God. <laughs> I touched it. I touched it and this went flying. Oh geez. That's, that's really loose. That's really loose. That's why. If, why is that one so loose? Eh. We'll see. Battle damage. All right. So it looks pretty cool. Oh my god! You gotta go to surgery for your Achilles tendon. What happened? Are you all right? I wish you a speedy recovery. All right, so here's the little ninja man. It's pretty cool. Like I said, this is the first set I think I've ever had where I literally don't have to build anything. You got ball joint in the ankle. You got knee joint, pretty much 90 degrees. You got thigh swivel. Yeah, he is kind of like a G.I. Joe. You're right. He is like a G.I. Joe size. You got a shoulder joint. You got a bicep swivel. 90 degrees in the elbow. Super loose shoulder joint. It's just a shoulder pad swivel. I got to like... I don't want to break it though. And then you got a ball joint for the head. Alright, let's get to these stickers. Let's see how this goes. All right, so number one goes on his eyes. Let's see how we do here. I'm actually going gonna, gonna to pop the head off. I think this is going to be easier. Ash, uh, expletive deleted. <laughs> these are not sticking. Sometimes with these older ones, the stickers do not want to stay on. I gotta, what do I got that I can push this down with? <laughs> That's the thing. I don't have this kind of stuff. All right, hold on. Look at this box for a moment while I fix this. So maybe that's why it's so difficult. I don't have the right equipment. Like I said, I don't mind assembling them. I hate the stickers. Because every time I put a sticker on, it doesn't want to stick. And then it just ends up looking like terrible. And like I never actually trust that it's on there. Alright. I mean, ultimately, I don't think it'll matter because I think... You give him a different head. <laughs> so it doesn't really matter. But there you go. There's your eyeball. Next up we have number seven. And this goes right here. Oh no, seven goes on this side. All right, I'm going to take the head off again. I believe this goes right here. All right. That wasn't too bad. All 
All right. Number eight goes on the other side. And I apologize if I'm missing comments. All right, that looks pretty good. Next up we have number five and number four. Oof, that sounds terrible. I wish you all the best, Magnum, because that sounds incredibly painful. So this goes down here. So it would seem. So you guys bored yet? This is going to be terribly interesting watching me put stickers on things. That makes sense. You can only do one foot at a time. Yeah, I don't know. I feel like I can't when I try to use things like you said. Um, or maybe I should just wear like gloves or something because I feel like I can't get it to stick on there as well with like something else. Plus, I'm, like, OCD, so I have to, like, really, like, you know, it's like when I put a stamp on an envelope, I have to rub it down, like, 400 times. <laughs> All right, let's see. Number three goes around the wrist. All the way down, right? Yeah. Should probably try to put this on the inside. All right, there's one wrist. Here goes the other one. Oh, really? Shoot, coming in with some breaking news. Why would they come in so late? What's going on, Shoot? Give us the inside info. It is really strange that they would, like, not sub the first episode and then all of a sudden, oh, hey, we have it. Just kidding. I gotta tell you, the fan sub, uh, just as good, and I don't have to watch the same commercial 600 times in a row, 
and I don't have to wait a week for them to put it up. So I'm about ready to give up on, on Crunchyroll, to be quite honest. <laughs> I would rather just the fans keep doing it and putting it up on... Uh, so, hold on, I just learned this. Subaraya. I could, for the longest time, I didn't know what their company's name was. I was like, that's probably something I should know. Oh, really? So the fan subs on the Subaraya, they got rid of it already? It's just so weird. Why would they be so late? I mean, don't get me wrong. I'll watch it on Crunchyroll. But that means I won't get to watch it this weekend. Well, at least I got to watch it before they locked it, so that's nice. <laughs> I guess I'll get to watch it again. So will Crunchy Crunchyroll probably put up last week's this week? That's so weird. Why were they late with it? What are you doing, Crunchyroll? Alright, how do I want this? Like this. Oh, somebody else. I just hope, like, I know Netflix has the anime, and I'm totally down with that. But I just hope, like, Netflix doesn't get this, and then we have to wait till the whole show's over before we can watch it, because that would be terrible. All right, we're getting to the end here. I have to put these on his shins. These were always, whenever I would do the X-Aid ones... These are the ones I hated the most. They really did not want to stay on so well. They look good when you're done, but... That's funny. It's funny that they would lock it to the Asia countries and make it go back to Crunchyroll because I was literally just thinking today, you know what? I don't think I mind watching it on YouTube instead of Crunchyroll. <laughs> and they're like, oh, he's happy about it? Quick, change it. Change it. All right, I think these are on decently. And I apologize, I have to kind of bring it off camera so I can actually look at it with my eyes. Okay. I know that sounds dumb, look at it with my eyes, but I have to look at it up close is what I meant to say. All righty. So... It also gives me stickers for swords I don't have yet because they're in the other box. So now that he's done, I can put his head back on and his shoulder pads. All right, boom. So that took about 15 minutes to do. So that's a long time. And that's just one. If I tried to do a whole set of these, holy crap, it would take forever. Because I'm terrible at this. Alright, I'm going to open the second box. And I probably missed a ton of comments. Do, 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 do. Also, for Taro's sake, if it's on Crunchy, just get a sub. It's only $10. 
You spend 50 times more than that on Imagine X in the past month. Why do you think I can spend that much on Imagine X? And also, did you say for Taro's sake, like Taro is your god? Because that's hilarious. <laughs> I love how Cody keeps me honest. He's like, I know there's going to be a second candy in that box. You got to eat it. You got to eat that second candy. Is Crunchyroll ten dollars for a whole year? How? What's the, what's the, what's the exchange rate on this? <laughs> Dan Kuroto. All right, that's fair. Kamida. All right, this is the second candy, and I'm eating the second candy. There you go. Sweet tarts. Well, thank you, Common Rider Magnum. It's very sweet of you to say that I'm not a dumpster fire of garbage and crap. <laughs> I do like your, your portrayal of YouTube, though. It's pretty accurate. Oh, no. I'm running low on battery. Give me two seconds while I eat this candy. I apologize. Yeah, they are crazy with the ads. I think when I was watching Digimon last week, I saw the same uh, Hotel Transylvania 3 commercial. No lie, I counted six times in a row. Look at this packaging. <laughs> These two things get their own slot. This thing gets its own slot. This is nuts. Well, it's not too bad, sticker-wise. Let me dump all this crap out. Alright, so these are his two swords. Hey, whoopsis. Dude, they used to do, when I used to watch it, they had a local car dealership that used to make its own commercials, and they were hysterical. I loved those. And here's the thing. I don't mind watching ads. It's not the problem that I have to watch ads. It's that they literally just play the same ad five times in a row, and I'm like, why do you do that? That's That's ridiculous. So what is this piece that broke off? Oh, that's the that's really cool. It's the little Kimuwaza slot holder. I can't believe I still remember what that's called. All right, so this has to come off, right? This comes off, and the driver goes on. Boom. And then you pop on your little Kimuwaza slot holder. Oh, or you lose it. That's gone. Okay, hold on. I found it. I gotta put it on, not upside down. <laughs> yeah, that is true. Let it's, You have to always be a week behind. Alright. We have our drivers. I know, right, Cody? The stuff my brain remembers. All right, hold on. The directions are in the other one. Does that make any damn sense? Okay, so these are... What the F? Oh, no, this goes... Oh, that goes in the side of his leg. Oh, God. 
I didn't even notice a giant hole in the side of his leg. All right, let's do the stickers first. So he needs eyeballs. Let's give this bastard an eyeball. Yeah, let's use his, let's use his own katana to put his eyes on. All right, second eyeball. <laughs> Train fans, what the heck are you talking about? I do, I need like a sticker wand. <laughs> that I can put these things on with. Alright, I think this eyeball is on there. So now we have a head with some messed up eyes. So we remove the random drone head. Oh god. Oh, this moves inside. Why does it do that? Why? Is that his ninja power? Weird moving head neck thing? Ah, these shoulder pads are too loose. Alright. We have a ninja head. Okay, he has eyeballs. Let's see. So, number four goes on the shoulder. No, the elbow things. Forearm things? God, this is so tiny. It might actually be easier if I stick it on his arm first because that would kind of anchor it. No, I lied. It doesn't. It makes it much worse somehow. All right. Yes, the Ultraman Orb Dark. I have it pre-ordered. I will have it. And I will review it when it arrives. I'm pretty much going to get everything Ultraman for RB. Alright, there's one of his forearm things. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> Cody. According to train fans, there are no other trains but Shinkalians. Come on. That's all he knows. All right. I'm trying to pop these on as quick as possible. This has got to be the quietest and most boring live stream of all time. Watching me put stickers on. All right, we have his other forearm accoutrement. I can name some. Oop, I can name some Thomas characters. You got Ringo Starr. You got George Carlin. You got Thomas. And. Uh, the lady with the New York accent. She's a character. Alright, now these go on the that thing. This is a lot of just applying the same sticker over and over again, <laughs> only slightly larger. All right, and then this one jams into the side of his leg. There you go. We're almost done, guys. Only two more stickers left. You hung in there. You made it. We're almost done. So many stickers. All right, jam this into the side of his leg. We are good to go. Oh, I'm sorry, there's one more sticker for the stand. But that's the easiest sticker. Boom. Oh, damn, I forgot the ones for his... I forgot the ones for his swords. How do they go on the swords? What? Now these... This can't be for this. I don't... I don't know. I don't know what these go. These are very basic katana. Alright, and this goes on his back. There we go. Oh, bye, Cody. Oh, I'm sorry. Magnum's leaving. Bye, Magnum. All right, so this is very confusing, so you guys can take a look at this with me. It shows, like, three different things you can put in his hand. This is the normal sword, which is what I have. And then it shows these other kind of weird blades. 
And it says to put the stickers I have on these weird blades. But I don't have that. Let me see what this says. Ziru. No, that's she. Shiru. Nope. Stage nine. Are these stage nine? Oh, these are stage ten. Stage nine now. Rasonak. I don't know. It must be some kind of swords from a different set that I don't have. So we don't have to put these stickers on. Hooray. Less stickers. Less stickers. All right. So we put this away. All right. And then we have this weird little piece extra and we have this extra ninja head although this is a pretty cool head you can see it's got the mask like tied in the back it's pretty cool so here is our finished guy and i have to say i mean he looks good like i said i'm always happy with them when i'm done they look good and I don't mind assembling them. I hate the stickers, though. I absolutely hate the stickers. I also kind of wish you could attach the swords to his back somehow, but... <laughs> more stickers, more expired candy. No! No more. Oh, God. Exploding shoulder pads. Oh, that's gone. That is an exploded shoulder pad. Where the hell did that go? That's gone. All right, well, that's gone. We'll find that one day. <laughs> but yeah, he's cool. I mean, I love the color scheme is nice. The stickers look good once applied. There's just a whole heck of a lot of them. You can get them on the stand. Yeah, that shoulder pad's lost to the world. But yeah, this guy's cool. They're great little figures. I mean, they definitely have a ton of articulation. They look good. Plus, we never got any other representation of this character, so... There you go. And now he can fight the Batmobile. <laughs> it's true. He's gone... The, wherever Magnum Xerox in the sky goes, that's where he is. Together, they will be friends. All right, guys. Well, I really never expected this to go this long. Uh, but there you go. That took half an hour to put together that one figure thereabouts. So that's why I don't do streams <laughs> of doing model kits. Because I'm terrible at them. But I hope you guys had fun. I had fun chatting with all of you. Thank you all to everyone who joined. And I'm going to go look for that shoulder pad. So you guys have an excellent weekend. Good night. Thank you all for joining. And I'll talk to you next week. Bye, guys.